And to start off, um, showing you my tarot and oracle decks that I think are perfect for this time of the year, which is October spooky season. All right. Starting off pretty strong with my Halloween, um, Halloween weight tarot from Tarot Collectibles. This is the star edition. So as you can see, it's glossy. You can definitely see some reflections in it. And then it has like the hologram, um, hologram like stars. It comes with some extra cards for the full if you wanna pick a different one. There's a clown one in there as well. Um, so it doesn't have like a gender related to it, which is the one that I've kept in my deck. But this is basically what the cards look like. I really like them. You got like Frankenstein's monster. You have like witches, jack-o'-lanterns. So it's very much appropriate for like this time of the year. And um, I really enjoy using it actually. It's kind of fun. It's not too spooky. Um, I think it's like a great one you can use for like anybody and everybody around this time of the year. Um, the lamination looks kind of weird in certain angles. Like you see like here, you don't have the hologram effect, but when you move it, it comes to life. And I absolutely love it i really do enjoy using this deck so um yeah i mean the images are not like too scary we have another one from i have another one from tarot collectibles that is like a lot spookier than this one this one is just kind of like cutesy cutesy halloween you know let me grab the other one from Tarot Collectibles so I can actually show you what I mean. Uh, this one is not etched and this is what the back looks like. Let me just grab the other one. This one also does not come with a guidebook but there's a PDF you can download um, on their website actually. So I have the PDF um, saved on my, um, on my phone, so I refer to it. Okay. So the next deck is, I have it in this dust bag. Um, and this is like the temperance card from that same like Halloween weight tarot it's really nice i got this from tarot collectibles and um this one is the other halloween deck the twisted tarot tales by tarot collectibles and um this one the images are spookier for sure but you can get some really deep readings with this card okay um, maybe better if you want to do some shadow work. Um, I don't think I would just use this deck for like anybody unless maybe they requested it. This one does not have the stars. It is a little glossy. Um, and this is what the backs look like. I'm not a big fan of the back of this cards, but whatever. So yeah, this is kind of like what the images look like. They're definitely deeper, maybe a little darker if you want to go deep, you know. Um, I do like to use this for my own like personal readings, even the Will of Fortune. You know, see what I'm saying? The vibe is a little spookier for this time of the year, but I really like it. Um, I've gotten some really good um, readings for myself and for my friends with this deck. I ordered the expansion, whatever that like they also offer. I guess there's some extra cards that didn't make it into the deck, but you can 
um, buy it. So I've ordered it and it's gonna take a while to get here. I don't have it yet, otherwise I would show it to you. So this is the spooky one for around like Halloween time. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, then going into um, an Oracle deck that I really like is the Halloween Forever Oracle by Jasmine Beckett Griffin. I really like all the decks, like this whole series with the big eye like creatures is just my thing. I always get such good readings whenever I use this um, deck. They're pretty like deep. Um, they really make me like um, question and wonder the things that are happening in my life. This is what the guidebook looks like. I always used to like my guidebooks. You, I always like to use my guidebooks with my oracle decks. I just think they uh, make the reading a lot more powerful. Um, this is the card I got last when I was doing a reading for myself. It told me to like take care of my body, you know, um, wear makeup, pay attention to the way that I dress because how you present yourself directly affects how you succeed in life, I guess. And I can agree with that. So this is an oracle card. I really like it. It's kind of like a satiny finish, a matte finish, I would say, actually. There's a little bit of a sheen to it. This is what the edge looks like. So there's no etching. And then this is the back of the cards. But I really like these pictures and the guidebook just makes it so much better. Oh, I really like this card. So I bring it for this time of the year. It does pair with my other, you know, a lot of other decks that I use around this time. Definitely a favorite. I like all the series actually. All these like big eye creatures, just I have a special bond with them. So this is another one that I highly recommend for around this time of the year. And I'm just gonna switch it up from like Oracle and Tarot so that we have a good mix here. Another one that I like using a lot Actually, all year round, but especially around this time, is the Haunted House Tarot. Um, it comes with a little white book, but, you know, the write-ups are more than enough for you to get a good reading and what's going on in the story. Uh, you're basically following a girl around a haunted house. And um, this is what the images look like. Mm, more shadow work, I guess, or deeper uh, readings, helping you out, you know, if you are feeling like down or stressed and, you know, don't know what's causing it or don't know how to deal with whatever it is that's causing you um, the drama girl, you know? So yeah, I really like this deck. This is a really famous, popular deck. Um, it's by Sasha Graham. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend, look at the Ouija board. I was actually just watching a documentary on dark history of Ouija boards. I haven't finished it yet, but pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so this is another one. I do use it. Um, all year long but it's especially good for this time of the year no etching and this is what the backs look like moving on my other um, favorite deck that I use like all year long but especially around this time is my deviant moon tarot deck I really I love this deck 
I mean, the artwork and the messages you get. I even have the larger guidebook that comes with it. The coffee table book, that one is also like really good. And you have the upright meaning and the reverse meaning of the cards. But it's also like really good for intuitive readings. The artwork is just amazing. Like I really really connect with the artwork here it is uh for some people i guess spooky art but for me it's just the artwork just speaks to my soul you know um yeah i use this doesn't matter the time of the year i just love using it no matter what but it's it's especially good for like spooky season look at the death card it's like it's trying to go back but that life is already done with you gotta move on with your new life so yeah this is basically what the artwork is this is the borderless edition deviant moon tarot by patrick valenza oh i just love it so much look at the lovers it's just amazing Look at the Eight of Pentacles. Working hard to perfect your, um, your work, your craft, you know? And again, there's no etching on this one. And this is what the backs look like. Um, another one of my favorites that I actually use all year long but is extra good around this year is the Bonefire Tarot. I absolutely love, love this tarot deck. It came like that when I opened it, by the way. It was damaged, but oh well, I don't really care. This is the guidebook. I'm not a big fan of the guidebook just because the writer talks about their own personal experience, especially with making the deck. I don't know, it just is not really relatable to me, I guess. But it's such an intuitive read just from the images. Um, and so I love it so much. There's so much to look at. It's a really busy deck, really fiery deck. There's so much to like look at. This one doesn't have borders. It's the matte finish. Um, look at this one, this eight of coins again, looking to or working to perfect, perfect your craft, your work. This is the lovers on this one. So if you were to compare it, you have the rings here. Yeah, I love it. You got the little snake, the couple here. I just love this deck so much. It's just so visually like pleasing to look at. I love this four of swords. It's just, it's like take a break, take a bath, do whatever you got to do for self-care. So yeah, these are the images. I think this deck is also good like all year long, but especially good around this time of the year, obviously Bonefire. Um, but the same as like Bonfire, you know? There's a lot of fire around. Um, yeah, so I really love this one. Two of Cups here. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites. I've had some really deep, meaningful readings with this deck for myself and for my friends. It has like a red etching and this is what the back looks like. So it's is it reversible. Mm, no, maybe not reversible, but I use reversals anyways. I don't pay attention to the back of the cards. But I really like the red etching here, you know? And the size on this one is also really good. It's not too big, not too small. It's just perfect. I love it so much. Another one that I think is really fun 
for October is, um, I'll just put this aside so I can grab it, is my Trick or Treat Tarot. I love this one too by Barbara Moore. And this one is also kind of like a fun deck. It comes with a guidebook like this. So you have like a full page of color and then an explanation for the keywords and the reversals. Um, this deck is also like really fun. It's not too spooky, you know, um, but it's definitely Halloween-y. It's perfect for this time of the year. It is glossy. It's a Llewellyn um cardstock so it like shuffles like a dream i love shuffling these llewellyn decks this is the back of the card and no etching i just shuffles like a dream i love shuffle shuffling these decks honestly like ah oh, you see that is perfect um so this is what the images look like um very like cutesy halloween you know here's the lovers on this one for example a little glossy but um and here's the eight of pentacles on this one actually it's so funny that i can actually see all the cards kind of compare them so this is like working on perfecting your art you're almost done here with your masterpiece you only have one more person's fa face to like paint you know um yeah, so this is what the images look like on this one. I really like the colors. It's really vibrant, and I get such good readings with this, especially if you know the stories with some of these drawings. It makes it that much more fun. Like, look at the Beauty and the Beast card here for strength. Oh, gorgeous. I love it. So yeah, this one is a classic, I think, for this time of the year. Um, and I love it so much. Um, you actually get pretty good readings with this, you know. And let me see. I'm going to get some of these decks out. I have a few more to show you. One of my... I'm actually going to only show you the decks that I've like used so far. I have some new ones here that I haven't used yet, so I can't really give you any like um, feedback on it. For example, the Tarot of Hidden Realms or the Witch Sisters. I've only used this one like maybe once, so I don't really want to do like a proper review on it. It's definitely like witchy witchy, you know, I think it's like very much like um scotland and island ireland like um the stories like the witches of like the scotland and ireland i think i haven't read the book all the way it's definitely like an advanced reader i don't know if this is gonna be really easy to read for beginners but you know you never know it's the first deck you have and you start learning with it and you read the book you might do really well but my all one of my all-time favorite decks actually ever is the darkwood tarot by sasha graham um i love this deck honestly i use it all year round but it's especially good for this time of the year um i've read the guidebook all the way to here but um whenever i pull the cards i also refer to the deck as well so i've read the other ones but this one is like really deep okay it takes you places um yeah i've gotten some amazing like readings with this deck this is what the backs look like again llewellyn cardstock i love it so much it shuffles like a dream and um, the colors are definitely more like autumn, fall, you know, like maybe even winter. But for me, it doesn't matter. I use it all year long, but I think it's especially fun for around this time of the year, you know. Um, it's witchy. 
And just look at like the setting, you're in this dark wood. It takes you to a special place. And when you put the cards next to each other, it just like creates this like gorgeous story. Um, and it's such an easy read. Like look at this Eight of Swords. Oh, I love it. Ah. just so deep it's like somebody's just like waiting for you to like fall for them to prey on you something like that is how I would maybe read it depending on the cards like next to it but it just gives you like warning and look at this one like um two of swords there's dark things happening in your mind in your thoughts they're not really there you can't see the shadow of them in the water um yeah, I mean, you can get, oh gosh, you can get such deep readings with this deck. I mean, every time I do a reading with this, I'm just like, oh, wow. Like when I'm done with the reading, I'm like, wow, you know, absolutely one of my favorites. I highly recommend the Darkwood Tarot. I really do. I can't get enough of it. I can't wait to finish reading the whole um, guidebook um let's see so one of the other ones that i have actually used um and can review is the jack-o-lantern tarot i really like this one too the images are so fun it comes with a little white book but um, the cards are just gorgeous, my God. Look at that, look at the colors. It is a little obviously spooky because um, obviously like jack-o'-lantern tarot, but it I think it's like especially fun, obviously. Um, for October, I don't really see myself using it any other time of the year but you never know i let you guys know if anything changes um but i've gotten some really good readings with this as well i've done some readings for other people on my instagram my followers there i put up boxes like every wednesday and sunday I do like free card pulls for people that need guidance and i use this one and people loved it the other one is the halloween tarot actually wait have i used this one yet i don't think i've actually used this one yet but obviously i'm gonna show it because obviously like it's gonna be good for this time of the year you know and i think it's a classic comes with a little white guidebook by us games um and these are the images actually i think i've used it once but these are the pictures i just recently got this deck so i haven't done a whole lot of readings with it but i think it's just such a classic look at the images it's perfect for this time of the year so i'm definitely going to be using it more to do readings for myself, for my friends, for my followers on Instagram. Whenever I do general readings, collective readings, or individual readings for my followers, I think they would love it. Um, so yeah, this one is new to my collection. I've only used it like maybe once. I don't have a whole lot of, to say about it because I haven't used it much. And um, my favorite, again, one that I use all year long, but I especially like to use it around this time of the year is the Dark Mansion. This is the regular version by um, Tarot Teka Studio. Comes all the way from Poland. It takes a while to get to get shipped but it's totally worth waiting because i love it look at the backs and the gold etching oh my gosh it's gorgeous and look at the images mm. 
I love, I just love this deck. I cannot get enough of it. Look at the vibrant colors and the illustrations are just, oh my God. They take my mind to like someplace, you know, special. Look at the three of swords. This is the card of like heartbreak. Maybe you lost something that was really precious to you. Look at the eight of wands, meaning like good news is coming towards you really fast. It just the illustrations are genius. The sun card says voyage. So, you know, if you're asking about a vacation or a trip, look at the hermit card is so cute. Queen of Swords, this card always comes up for me. And look at the star. I mean, the artwork is just incredible. I love it so much. I highly recommend. Look at this card, thinking about the past, the Six of Cups. Oh, I love it. I totally think it's worth it. If you have the funds and the patience to wait for it, to get shipped to you. I highly recommend it. And then last but not least is, let me find it here. Oh, by the way, the Halloween tarot, remember? It comes with a larger guidebook too. The one that I told you I just got, I have the book as well, but I haven't read it yet. But it comes with a guidebook like, guidebook like that, if you like. Another one that I think is good for this time of the year, last but not least, are these two. The Oracle and the Tarot together, okay? And um, I haven't actually, I only like read with it one time with the Tarot and I really liked it. I can't really do like a proper review review on it. But it's one that I'm planning on using more in October. And um, I just wanted to show you guys. So this is a Santa Muerte Tarot. Um, Las Carabello. Okay. And this is what... Uh, it comes with a little guidebook. And this is the side, here's the back. So it's gorgeous. And then this is what the cards look like. I think it's pretty cool. I like that they're little skeletons. I think anybody and everybody can kind of project themselves like into the cards as you do a reading. Um, again, I haven't done like extensive reading with this deck yet so I can't really give you a review on how it reads but I'm in love with the images and I'm definitely going to be using it more in October honestly I think you can use this deck any time of the year because skeletons are skeletons but it's like especially fun for again spooky season um, this deck is also new to my collection, so I don't have a whole lot of uh, experience with reading with this deck, but it looks it looks promising. I'll keep you guys posted on it. And then this Oracle deck that kind of really goes with this tarot deck, I think, is the Santa Muerte Oracle. Um... This one is also new to my collection. I haven't really done a reading with it. Maybe we pull a card and read from the guidebook together. Um, let me just straighten this up for you. There you go. So um, there's no um, nothing written on the cards, which makes it a little bit hard. I like it when they have keywords. Mm, but I think you could still maybe intuitively kind of read into it especially if you're using it with the tarot 
I personally think I don't have enough experience yet to be intuitively be able to intuitively read these cards, okay? And so I definitely would need to use the uh, book that comes with it. So why don't we actually um, do a reading together so I we can finish this reading or finish this video together with a reading, um, kind of a general reading for the collective, for anybody who is watching this. You can set your intention, ask your question. Again, always remember tarot readings, oracle readings are for entertainment and spiritual guidance. These are not by any means like legal medical financial advice these are not professional advice so with that we with that being said let's pull a card and see what the message of the day is for us today number 22 so if number 22 or 22 is of any significance to you here's the card there's a lot of books around so maybe we need to further our studies or learn about a topic more um, maybe try to let our mind open um, by journaling or working on a creative project that's how i would intuitively read into that but let's see what the guidebook says so yeah there you go number 22 intellect the archetype of order 06 by seen by the sixth card can be expressed on the formation plane by human intellect here's the Here's the birthplace of language, the world of ideas, knowledge, where communication takes place and culture is generated. The intellect, much like the solve, refer to the god, uh, Mictlantelec, I cannot say that, uh, can, with its cutting action, analyze fragment, then recompose in a form of final synthesis, it directs and controls, but for this very reason, it can become an obstacle for expression and dynamism. Okay. Well, let's see what the advice is. The advice of the dead. Put instinct aside for the moment and analyze the situation you're in rationally. Okay, I like that. So, yeah, there's a little write-up. Sometimes these names are really hard for me to pronounce because I don't I have no idea, like, what, that, what they're referring to. But, you know, you can always look into it a little bit more. But I like this section for the advice of the dead, which is telling you to try to analyze your situation a little bit more, open your mind a little bit more, study, learn, um... Oh, I like that. So yeah, I guess you can intuitively um, look into it. Um, but I feel like I would still definitely need the guidebook for like more in-depth meaning of the cards. I wish they had little keywords on them, but oh well. Um, okay, and so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little like collection video. My nails are a disaster. Sorry about that. I need to get my nails done. I usually do my own dip powder, which I got to show you in another video, my whole like dip powder collection. I'm trying to do different like reviews, different collections, not just luxury related stuff. I honestly haven't been shopping luxury much lately. And I want to try to create content with the things that I do have and I do own and try to help out or like um, give my two cents in different things that interest me in my life. And Tarot and Oracle is definitely 
one of those things that I love, love, love passionately. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Love you. Bye.